Hey everyone, welcome back. I ran into a few issues recently while setting up a fresh install of Proxmox and trying to install Home Assistant and Cloudflare Tunnel using helper scripts. I kept seeing errors, things like Proxmox can't create containers and problems with the enterprise repository. Turns out these issues were caused by out-of-sync repositories on a non-subscription Proxmox setup. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how I fixed it step-by-step step and all through the Proxmox GUI. We'll disable the enterprise repositories, add the free no-subscription ones for both Proxmox and Ceph, update the system and remove that annoying no-valid-subscription message, all without touching the terminal. Let's start by disabling the enterprise repositories. These require a paid license and can cause update errors if you're running a free version. On the left side, click your PVE node. This is your main Proxmox server. Now, select repositories located under updates. Here you'll see a list of all your configured software sources. Look for entries that include the word enterprise, such as enterprise.proxmox.com. Click on the first enterprise entry, then click the disable button in the toolbar above. Do the same for the second one. You'll notice both lines are now grayed out, showing they're inactive. Now, let's add the free no subscription repositories for both Proxmox and Ceph. These are official public repositories, completely safe and perfect for home or lab setups. We'll start with Proxmox V itself. While still in the Repositories tab, click Add at the top. From the drop-down, choose No Subscription. Next, click Add again and repeat the process for Ceph. From the drop-down, choose Ceph Squid No Subscription. After adding both, check the list. You should now see two active repositories, one for Proxmox VE and one for Ceph, both marked with green check marks. These repositories provide all the latest updates, bug fixes, and security patches, just like the enterprise versions but without needing a subscription. Having both active keeps Proxmox and Ceph in sync and fixes the repository errors that prevent containers or VMs from being created. After adding the no subscription repositories, you might see a yellow warning box at the top of the screen that says, the no subscription repository is not recommended for production use. Don't worry, that's completely normal. These are only informational messages. Proxmox shows them to remind you that these free repositories don't include paid enterprise support. For home labs, testing, and personal servers, they're perfectly safe, you can just ignore the warnings. Now let's update Proxmox using the new repositories. Click your PVE node again, then select the Updates tab. Click Refresh to reload the package list. You'll see Proxmox connect to the new no subscription sources. Once the list updates, click Upgrade. The update window opens. It will ask you if you want to continue, type Y then press Enter. It will begin downloading the latest packages. Let it finish, this can take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. When it's done, close the window and go back to the Summary tab. This installs the latest kernel, stability fixes, and security patches from the new repositories. Once complete, all the repository errors should be gone. Now, let's fix the annoying pop-up no valid subscription. It doesn't affect how Proxmox works, but let's remove it completely. Click your PVE node, then click the Shell tab at the top. Now, please copy the following text exactly as it appears on your screen. You can also find it in the description below. This opens the Proxmox web interface script inside the built-in text editor. Press Ctrl plus F, then type checked underscore command and press enter. 
This takes you to the section that handles the subscription check. Just under the opening curly brace, add these two lines. Just follow along with what you see on screen. Keep the same spacing so nothing goes wrong. Once that's done, save your changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, then press Enter, and exit with Ctrl plus X. This small edit tells Proxmox to execute the original command but skip the subscription check completely. That prevents the pop-up from appearing when you log in, permanently. Now let's apply the change by rebooting from the GUI. Click your PVE node again and in the top right corner of the screen click Reboot. When the confirmation box appears, click Yes. Your Proxmox host will briefly go offline and come back up in a few moments. Once it's ready, refresh your browser and log back into the web interface. And that's it! You've disabled the enterprise repositories, added the free ones for both Proxmox and Ceph, updated your system, and removed the no valid subscription message, all through the GUI. If you ran into similar issues while setting up Home Assistant or Cloudflare Tunnel, this will fix them completely. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more Proxmox and Home Lab tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.